Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from ZomegaTG.com and this is the uh, Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc um, as you can see right there. Uh, this phone is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread um, pretty much the latest version of uh, Android for smartphones. Um, so yeah, hardware wise, let's take a look at the hardware. The design as you can see is very slim. Um, I have a Nokia and eight right there, you can see it's a lot, a lot slimmer than that. Um, but it's also a lot slimmer than the Nokia C7, which, as it is, is actually quite a slim device, uh, right there. Let's see that. Um, and of course, compared to an iPod Touch, it's uh, along the same lines, a little bit more bulky compared to that. And um, just for kicks, we have an HTC HD7, and uh, that's how the size looks, just to give you a better idea. Um, you can see the little arc back right there from where it gets its name, basically. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's see, um, hardware, hardware, yeah. Um, there's an 8 megapixel camera right there with a single LED flash. Uh, there's a mic at the back, as you can see right there. Um, the cover, the back panel is a little bit plasticky, so you can uh, see our fingerprints appear right there. Uh, so that's a bit uh, strange. But um, yeah, otherwise the uh, the back panel comes off right here. Uh, let me just take that out, and um, that's where you can see uh, the other mic right there, and there's some cloud slot, the uh, micro SD slot, and then the battery right there. Uh, put that back, and uh, yep. Yeah. So you ha you get your dedicated camera key right there, where you can um, take pictures and the zoom in and zoom out keys, which also work as volume keys. There's the micro SD, oh sorry, micro USB port right there. Um, this is the port to remove the back panel and lanyard cable inlet. And uh, strangely though, the 3.5 mm audio adapter, uh, audio jack, is on the side, which is a bit annoying. Uh, apart from that, there's the power button and the HDMI cable, uh, which you can remove right there. Put an HDMI cable in there. Let me just remove that, yeah. So there you go. Um, and the power button, yeah. So the power button works like it does in most Android phones. You tap that to um, get your screen, unlock, and there you go. Um, you can see the keys right here are not lit up though, so um, you have to get used to them. Uh, but again, they have three basic functions. That's the, the back key, the options key, and the home key right there. Um, so yeah. Moving on to software. Um, the Sony Ericsson Arc has a lot, uh, you can see this, the, the, uh, the whole UI is a lot faster overall. Um, there are four or five, five home screens, uh, that you can switch between, uh, right there. Uh, you have your basic, um, Android widgets that you can see in action, but, uh, you also have a couple of Sony Ericsson widgets. Um, for example, this is the, uh, this press and hold to move it, and then let go to, uh, Again, you can move it up and down, and this is the uh, Sony Ericsson uh, Timescape uh, widget, so you can just go see what your contacts are up to on your social media sites. You can also tap there to update your status. Um, this is the gallery widget, where you can just uh, go through your last images, or your videos, or whatever. Um, this is your weather and news uh, widget right there, and the... Um, Music player widget right there. Uh, adding uh, another widget is easy enough. Just tap and hold. Uh, appears. You can choose widgets, and you can choose the type of widgets that you want. Um, basically, all the uh, usual. There's also um, live wallpapers, as you'd expect, and a couple of Sony Ericsson uh, wallpapers too that you can choose from if you want to. Uh, yeah. So um, that's uh, that's about it for the home screen then. Um, as you can see, you have these uh, predefined app shortcuts at the bottom. Just tap the center to get the menu, and there you go with the menu. Um, you can see that there is Timescape still uh, to go through your status, uh, uh, your friends uh, on, on your social media sites and stuff like that. Um, so this does take a while to, uh, to load, but you can... I'm not too sure of the use for... Um, for her timescape, to be very honest, I never was. Uh, but yeah, that's how it is. 
Uh, and everything's a lot faster, as you can see right there. Everything's a lot, lot faster overall. Um, moving on. Uh, this is how the menu is arranged right now. Um, so yeah, messages are, uh, are arranged how you'd expect them to be in a, in a, um, okay. In, in basically a conversation view. Um, there is no landscape view though in, uh, in, <laughs> in this phone. Um, the browser works just as you'd expect. Uh, you can go to, oh, let me just choose the phone right there. Load that up. The browser works just as you you would expect it to on um, Android. Nothing really new or different over here in this case. Um, I'll let loads. Let's check out something else. I guess yeah. So um, email email works again like like um, like you expect. The camera. Let let me show you the camera. The camera UI is interesting. Um, it's a bit modified as you can see right there. All the uh, the options are on this side, and if you were to press the uh, options key, you get more options right there. There's uh, shadow sounds, geotagging, flash resolution, touch capture, where you can just touch the screen to um, capture something like touch that. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's there. And there's video mode where you can swift uh, between them very fast, as you just saw. Um, and again, there are options here too, like uh, photo light, Exposure, microphone, shutter sound, metering, um, image stabilization, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's the camera. Um, going back to the web browser, I hope it's loaded up. So the web browser works just like you'd expect it to. Um, scrolling is pretty fast, as you can see right there. And there is uh, multi-touch capabilities, so you can uh, zoom in and zoom out as you will. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's nice, very fast as you can see right there. Ooh, there you go. So so yeah, um, the web browser is great. Uh, nothing new or different over there. Another very cool thing about the um, home screen is that you can basically um, just pinch to zoom out, and you'll go to an overview mode uh, where you can see basically what all your widgets are doing right there. Um, this is this is actually very cool because you can um, just um, go to any home screen pinch to zoom out, go to overview mode. So uh, this is pretty cool. Organizing your menu is also pretty easy right now. Um, you can tap that icon just to uh, sort by different ways. Or you can just tap this icon right here um, and you can see that the uh, icons go into a kind of jiggly mode similar to um, the iPhone. Um, so using this you can basically rearrange uh, icons to wherever you want basically. Um, and then just tap that again to go back. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty decent. So one thing to note is that there is no Mediascape anymore, and uh, Sony Ericsson has chosen to uh, remove that app. Instead, you have separate gallery and music um, apps right there. The uh, gallery um, app is basically the same as most Android phones. You have that there. Tap on that, open it up, and you can uh, you can see that happen right there. Um, so yeah. Basically the same. Just tap on that. Tap on something. Open it up. Um, as you know, the uh, the uh, Arc uses the new Bravia technology for its screen. Um, so it's actually quite brilliant. We have a couple of pictures of that against the uh, Nokia N8, which we'll show you um, later on. But the screen is definitely beautiful. Uh, not as superb as Super AMOLED, but uh, pretty decent. Very good. Uh, apart from that, what else is it? Um, there is the music player, uh, which you can play your last couple of tracks on. Go up there and look at all the songs you have. Tap on that, play that. And that's how this looks in um, landscape. In portrait mode, it looks like this. So yeah, that's how it looks. Um, what else am I missing here? Uh, apart from that, everything's basically the same. Um, there is multi-touch support though, which is a uh, Definitely appreciated, um, especially in games like Angry Birds, for example, which requires multi-touch if you want to zoom in and zoom out the level. Um, so apart from that, it uh, does have everything that you'd expect. Let me just open that up. So yeah, there you go. Um, there's multi-touch support in games all around. Um, so yeah. 
Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. Um, as you can see, it's very decent. Uh, it's very quick overall too. I would say that um, this is a very nice, very sleek little device. Um, the only problem though is that it does compete with all the phones of this generation, like the Samsung Galaxy S um, and the other Android phones out there. However, it doesn't actually compete with the new phones that are coming out um, this quarter. Uh, the Motorola Atrix 4G, for example, and um, the like. The, even even the Samsung Galaxy S2 um, could put this to shame. So um, this is a very nice phone for sure. This is probably um, the best Sony Ericsson phone that uh, they have made. The best Sony Ericsson Android phone that they've made. Uh, as you can see, it's very 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 um, quick around the corners right there. Uh, all because of gingerbread, of course. Um, let me show you that. Uh, there you go. So that's um, 2.3.1. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this phone if you uh, need a basic phone that doesn't need to do too much. Um, this does uh, do everything that the Samsung Galaxy S does, for example. So it's a, it's a worthy uh, alternate to the Samsung Galaxy S, definitely. Um, of course, it remains to be seen how quickly uh, Sony Ericsson will release firmware updates and software updates for Android. Um, starting with the ARC. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's about it. If you need to check out more details on the Sony Ericsson ARC, do check out the blog post on zonegalcj.com. If you have any questions or comments about the Sony Ericsson ARC, do let us know in the comment section below, and we will try to answer them as best we can.